End of Watch is probably the only cop movie I'm ever going to enjoy. I really don't like the whole, you know, POV version of movies like movies like Cloverland where everything is shot in that first person point of view. It's not usually my thing, but I think we are a little bit more forgiving about it since it's it's pretty much a two and a half hour episode of cops. It really isn't that bad. I really, the main part I actually enjoyed was the relationships. We don't have that in any cop episode. And it actually shows what goes on behind the scenes, what goes through a person's, what goes through a cop's head when they're actually put in that situation where there are human trafficking situations, lots and lots of drugs. They get shot at a lot. And it's. It's gut-wrenching at the end. It is probably one of the most epic endings I've ever seen. And then the way they cap it off is actually showing them both together for the very last time before shit actually hits the fan. Uh, I am truly, truly a fan of this movie. I, uh, I cannot sell it enough. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. If I were to rate this movie, I would probably give it probably about a 7.8 out of 10. Uh, just because I am not a fan of the first-person point of view. That's just my preference. I like kind of the shaky sort of POV thing to an extent. But after that, it kind of gets really boring for me. But nevertheless, uh, this was a good movie. This is a really good pick. I'm really glad you guys got this one. I'm going to start doing my responses with this gas mask. I think... Yeah, should be interesting. All right, love you guys. Word.